Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, The Savvy Professor. In this video, I am going to walk you through the steps to how to fix Google contacts not showing up in WhatsApp. Now, this can happen due to some reasons. For example, if you have not synced in your Google contacts with WhatsApp or if you have not given permission to your WhatsApp application. So, for that, first of all, I will show you the steps, how you can sync the Google contacts and then how you can give permission to it. Now, first of all, we will just launch the WhatsApp application and here you can see there is not even a single contact. So it can happen that within your WhatsApp application also, you might be facing the same issue that none of the contact is being shown in your WhatsApp and in some cases, it's only showing the number. Now, moving towards the first solution, you need to go back and launch your settings application and then scroll down to the very bottom and click on the Google option right above account. Over here, within this Google page, you just need to scroll down to the very bottom and click on the option that says settings for Google apps, right below setup and restore. And then click on the first option that says Google contact sync. Then you need to click on the first option that says status. So you just need to click on that and then click on the first option that says Google contact sync. And then you need to go back and click on the second option that says also sync device contacts and then Toggle on this first option that says automatically backup in sync device contacts and then select the email that you want to sync the contacts to. Now, once you toggle on both of these options, you will be able to sync your Google contacts. Now, once you are done with that, we will head back to the WhatsApp application and then over here for few people it can happen that even after syncing the Google contacts, the contacts are not being shown in the WhatsApp even now. So in that case, what you need to do is that you will go back to the home page and then you will long press the WhatsApp application. Now, within this pop-up menu, you will select the last third option that says app info, which will take you to the settings of the WhatsApp application. Over here, you need to select the second option that says permissions and then scroll down to the very bottom and select the third option that says contact. Now, click on the allow option and right after that, you will be able to give permission to your WhatsApp application. So that's it for this video. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, then don't forget to smash that like button, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching the video till the very end. I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.